Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a clarinet in my shop and all of the rings on it are loose and they can come off without too much problem. If there is one socket ring loose, check the other ones. Often there will be more than one loose on a clarinet. There are different ways of doing this. There are tools that take the ring and shrink it so that it fits on the clarinet better, but those tools are expensive and most people do not have those. There is an easier way to do it which just requires these tools a piece of 600 grit wet dry sandpaper which you can get from most hardware stores, a rawhide mallet, and a razor. And All of these socket rings are different sizes so make sure you get the correct one. And when you found the correct one it also has to be put on the correct way because there is a right way and a wrong way to put it on there. The way you tell that it's the right side is there's a 90 degree angle between the inside of the ring and the side and if you turn it over there is a 45 degree angle for, between the inside of the ring and the bottom of the ring. So you make sure that the 45 degree angle goes on the inside of the socket ring. When you've done that, you feel how loose it is and it's hard to explain on a video. If it's really loose, if you can just turn it around and it falls out, you're probably going to need a lot more sandpaper in there. Uh, if it's a little bit tight, if you have to pull a little bit to get it out, you probably need a lot less. This is one is somewhere in between, so I'll, I will probably need about this much. And I do keep my scraps of sandpaper around and I use it for this purpose. Now you take the sandpaper and put it in the slot and you hold that on, you take the ring and, oops, wrong way, you take the ring and put it on over that, and if you can push it down uh, with some effort, but if you can push it down with your fingers most of the way, that's usually good. Do not push it down all the way yet. You want there to be a little bit of gap in between there, and the reason for that is you need to cut out the excess sandpaper that is in the gap and then you can take the edge of the razor and pull that out. Then you cut off the excess sandpaper on the top and you go around there and make sure that you get it on the ring, the metal part of the ring, but not the part of the clarinet where it will cut the clarinet. That gives you a cut that is flush along the top of the clarinet and you will not see the sandpaper sticking out. After you're done with that, you tap the ring in with the rawhide mallet And that is good. The ring is down all the way where it's supposed to be and also you cannot see any sandpaper on the top or in the middle. And then there's one last thing to do. You try to pull it off. And I'm pulling pretty hard and I cannot pull this off so that is good. I also do not want this ring to be too tight and that's why when I first put the ring on I put it on with my hands because I knew I would not get it too tight if I pushed it on with my hands most of the way to begin with. Now I'm going to choose the next ring, not that one, it looks like it's this one. And this one's a little looser than the other one, so I'm going to put a little bit more sandpaper. So I have, I have a strip, I'm going to rip off about as much as I think I need. I've done a lot of these before, so I know about how much to put in there. If you have never done this before, you'll probably need to experiment and try different amounts. Uh, but just get the amount that that you can push it down. Uh, most of the way with your hands. You have to push pretty hard but not super hard. Okay, I think that is a little too much because I can't get that down. So I'm going to rip off just a little bit more and I will try it again. Okay, that's probably good. And then the razor the inside and the outside and it does not really matter which order you do it it just you you just need to do one then the other and then tap it down and try it and it does not come off so that's another one done you can see that once you've done several of them it's a very easy job to do and you can do it in just a few seconds also another thing to be careful of, never put the clarinet together without that socket ring in place or you could crack the socket. One more time, let's see, this one is not very loose so I probably will not need as much. And you can use one of your dull razors for this job because it gets the job done and by the time you're done the razor will be dull anyway from cutting sandpaper and cutting on metal. 
So I will use this much, put that on there, and put the ring on, push it together. There we go. And cut the top and cut the middle. Tap it down. And check it out, and that one is done too. The socket ring on the bell section, it is loose and it spins around, but it's hard to pull off. This happens every now and then on some sockets, but definitely not all of them, where it spins around and it's loose and you start to pull it off. And it comes off a little bit, but then it stops moving. To get that off, you can pry it off with a screwdriver, but you have to be careful not to gouge the wood or the plastic on the clarinet. The way to do that is take a pad leveling tool or another thin flat piece of metal works for that, and you put it in the crack and you pry it off uh, with the screwdriver, and that way all the pressure is on the metal part and not on the clarinet. You'll probably need to turn it as you go so that you get all the sides evenly. It was not the case on this clarinet, but sometimes you need a fairly big strip of sandpaper that goes almost all the way around, and sometimes you might even need to go all the way around and then a little bit more. But if it's that bad, you might want to think about either shrinking the ring or getting another ring that's smaller. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.